Breaking news in the fight against COVID-19. Pitt researchers have developed a possible new way to treat and prevent the virus. Amy Wattis is live to explain how it works and when it might be available for us to use. Amy. Kim, researchers here at the Pitt School of Medicine say it took about two to three months to develop these anti-COVID antibodies, and they were discovered with the help of a llama. This is Wally, the llama that could be the answer to treating and preventing COVID-19. A llama, alpaca, and camels uh, can naturally produce a single domain antibodies. And the warhead of these single domain antibodies are called nanobodies. Doctors say the antibodies in these specific mammals are even more potent than antibodies in other animals and humans. The beauty of these uh, uh, nanobodies, that's the reason why my lab is kind of interested, is because um, um, they are extremely stable. Um, and uh, they're very easy to be produced um, and with a, a really low cost. Which is why they could be more effective in the fight against the virus. Dr. Xi and his colleagues immunized Wally with a piece of the SARS CoV 2 protein and said after about two months, his immune system produced mature nanobodies against the virus. So, when could we see this treatment become available? It has to be delivered safely. And again, just like other therapeutics, it has to go through the normal uh, phase one, phase two, phase three trials uh, required for licensure of any uh, novel therapeutic. And of course, as, as you've all learned, that takes time. If and when it becomes available, doctors say it would likely be administered as a nasal spray, which would be delivered directly to the lungs for treatment or to prevent the virus from progressing. That it's really good to have multiple ways multiple interventions in development. As we talked about earlier on, it just takes time to get these things through what's typically called the pipeline into a position where they can be used therapeutically. Now, there's a full slate of trials for this to go through before it's approved. Now, researchers say while any vaccine can take a long time to develop, this specific type of drug could actually move a lot faster. Reporting live in Oakland tonight, Amy Wattis, KDKA News.